In this video, we are going to be going over some of the hottest genome stocks that everyone seems to be talking about right now. And I'm even going to throw in an option play for you to think about. This is not going to be a deep dive. We're just going to go over some of the basics, but we're going to give you enough info to get your mind wrapped around this thing. What is up YouTube? My name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. This is a channel where you do not need a lot of money to invest to be successful. You just need to make the right decisions with however much you got, no matter how small. And if you had any money in the genome stock field here lately, then you could probably go ahead and put that in the win column. Genome stocks has been called the most overlooked mega trend in the stock market today. If you don't know what a genome is, because I didn't either, let me Bill Nye the science guy your face off. A genome is the haploid set of chromosomes in a gamete or microorganism or in each cell of a multicellular organism. Yeah, that should clear it up. Basically, thanks to genomics, scientists can now determine at an early age what diseases a person might contract later in life. It can also help doctors detect problems earlier and more accurately treat them. They will be able to figure out why some people live to triple digit ages and why some don't. We've all been affected by the death of a family member or friend that has came down with some type of illness or a cancer. These are the companies that are trying to cure those diseases and illnesses. How do you even put a dollar amount on that? And if this sounds crazy to you, we are actually making a lot of progress in this field and that's exactly what has got investors so excited. On December 18th, ARK Investment Management CEO Kathy Woods stated in an interview with Bloomberg, I would have to say the biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space. That's because the convergence of DNA editing, artificial intelligence, and gene therapies, importantly CRISPR gene editing, is going to cure disease. If you don't know who Kathy Wood is or care what she has to say, well, you should. She is already one of the brightest minds in finance when it comes to the market. Just a brilliant, brilliant lady. People laughed at her whenever she gave her price, her share price predictions on Tesla. They thought she was crazy, but she was right. She turned out to be right on the money. And not only that, I'll tell you something else I like about Kathy is even with all the scrutiny and people laughing at her about what the, the, is so overvalued, it'll never get to that price. People were shorting it at $200 per share a year ago. Through all that, she just she stayed strong, and that shows me that she's got my most favorite trait out there, and that's grit. So let's look at a few stocks that are on Kathy's radar, and if they're on hers, they should probably be on ours as well. First up is Edita's Medicine, ticker symbol E-D-I-T, or Edit. Edita's Medicine is currently trading for $71.95 and is up almost 81% on the month. On the year, they are up nearly 150%. Editor's Medicine is a leading genome editing company focused on translating the power and potential of the genome editing systems into a robust pipeline of medicines for people living with serious diseases around the world. Editor's Medicine aims to discover, develop, manufacture, and commercialize transformative, durable, and precise genomic medicines for a broad class of diseases. That was a mouthful. Edison's Medicine came out with their last quarterly earnings of 12 cents per share, beating the Zach's consensus estimate of a loss of 66 cents per share. This compares to a loss of 66 per share a year ago. This quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 118.18%. Edison's Medicine is the 11th largest holding in the ARC Innovation ETF, and CRISPR Therapeutics is the second largest according to data from ARC Invest. If Kathy Wood is bullish on these two, we should at least have a gander. Moving to that second largest holdings, CRISPR Technologies. Ticker symbol CRSP. CRISPR Therapeutics is currently trading for $159. They are up 94% over the past three months. 
Over the past five years, eh, a little, you know, just modest 960%. That comes up to an average of 192% each year for five years. Pretty decent. At CRISPR Therapeutics, they are focused on developing transformative gene-based medicines for serious human diseases. They are rapidly translating their specific and versatile gene editing platform into therapies to treat cancer, diabetes, and other diseases. I was going to say that one word, but there's way too many letters, and I'm not that smart. Now, just food for thought on CRISPR if you're interested in options and that kind of thing, or if you're interested in owning 100 shares of this company. I'll, but you have to make sure you have the capital and or margin, and I'm not advocating for trading with margin. That can be very dangerous. And again, I'm no financial advisor. This is all for entertainment. But there is some option plays out there that are pretty interesting. If you're in the market for this stock, you could actually look at selling a put against it if you have that capital I mentioned or that margin to play with. But look at this. Here's a contract with an expiration of February 5th. You can scroll through any of these and see they have a pretty decent premium attached. Now, if you're in no rush, but you're wanting to buy 100 shares, which is one contract, you can sell puts against it until it gets assigned so that cost average continues to get driven down. Let's say you sold the one with the $152.50 strike price. You will collect $1,230 in premium because remember, that number is going to times by 100 which is a $12.30 bid, that buyer is going to want to get that money back that they spent. So they're going to probably wait until they get to, towards that break-even price. That will put you at a cost basis of around $140.20 per share. And if it doesn't get assigned, you just pocketed $1,230 and your collateral you put up is now released to do another move. You can keep doing that until it gets assigned and just keep earning those profits but again, make sure you want to own 100 shares of this company or any company when you're playing with options because there is a lot of risk. Again, just food for thought. Last but not least, and this one has been all over YouTube lately and all over the news, and that is BioNanoGenomics. Ticker symbol B-N-G-O and Bingo was his name Oh, <laughs> I can't help it. Every time I see it, I do that in my head. It brings back memories from childhood. Moving on. Today on January 4th, 2021, Bingo was his name o went up o 134% o. In the past week, they are up 560%. And over the past month, Bingo was his name o is up nearly 1100%. BioNanogenomics is a life sciences instrumentation company which focuses on genome analysis space. Like the others, they are focused on helping cure diseases like cancer and other terrible illnesses. On Monday, after announcing results from a recent study, they went up substantially. The study had the company do a genome analysis of Professor Temple Grandin, Grandin has Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, but is high-functioning. The test reveals details that were beneficial to the professor. The evaluation revealed sequence variants in three ASD risk genes. The results showed one identified gene affecting ASD and two neurodevelopmental genes that could affect the person's ASD. Other pathogenic variants were seen in some genes that may contribute to health issues that the professor suffers from. The professor stated that the breakthroughs like this exhibit why we need genome testing and why it is so important. Everyone is pretty bullish on genome stocks right now. And after hearing all of this and the more research I do, well, it's easy to see why. However, some people believe that if you don't have 10 years to stash these things away in your portfolio and not necessarily forget about them, but just leave them along through all the ups and downs because it's going to take a long time to get these medications approved and tested. And that is a very long process. So if your ass is 95 years old, you may want to just take a pass on this one. But if you have time, you may want to take a look. As always, picking the right one for your portfolio is going to be your decision. Make sure you do your due diligence on these companies and come up with the right fit 
for you. Remember, I'm no financial advisor, but we are in the very early innings of the genome testing, and there's a long way to go, so there's going to be a long time of potential profits. But I do hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe. I hope everyone out there subscribes and takes care.